In the last lesson, we went through the details of creating a template for designers. And now what we'd like to do is, because you are a beginner, what we'd like to do is make sure that we use the tools that are part of the application. So that way you don't have to worry about things like Photoshop or Fireworks or, you know, any of the fancier tools. Quite honestly, uh, the tools that are available in SiteGidget gives you everything that you need to be able to create a, a really smoking site. So here's the basics of a layout that we have uh, currently right now. This is basically a template, which is the top part, the left, and the bottom is the template area and then the content and the center is the content area. So this will come into play when I give you an explanation of how the template works. But basically we're going to create a brand new template, our own customized template, and we can use any images that we want. We're just going to use this uh, example with the images that we choose for now. So let's begin by creating a template. We'll go into the My Pages menu to add a template. When you begin building the template, it'll give you the opportunity to uh, name your own page, but uh, you know the system does it for you. But of course, you can put in your own page name here as well. So let's go ahead and click on Build Your Own Template. When we do this, the system creates a blank template for you. Now you'll notice that the first, the very first thing that you see is that you'll see a content box in the center of the page. Now prior to this, just a couple minutes ago, I had mentioned that there's a content area and then there's a template that surrounds the entire page, which is like the header, the left, the right, the footer, etc. Right? So here is the content box that you can move around at will, and you can even shape the sides of the content area so you can define where the content will go on your pages. Everything around it becomes the template. So for right now, basically the content area is where all of your content will reside on the page and everything around it in the background as well as all on the header, left, right, and footer will be your template. So for right now, let's go ahead and hide the content area and let's begin by starting with a blank canvas. Now what I like to do is, is I always like to put a background color so I can have a theme that I can work with. So first steps would probably be uh, clicking onto the background area, then going to styles in the floating palette, and then choosing a color from the background. Simply drag your cursor over the color wheel and you'd be able to pick your color of what you'd like to get started with. Now I think I should go with like a nice, uh, I don't know, like a beige or so. Uh, for this particular layout and uh, that looks pretty hot right there. Okay, so now I've made a determination of the background of the overall page. That's a great first start because it gives me a foundation to start with. Now here's a hint on templates. When you're creating a template, honestly, a template is just layers upon layers of shapes and images, right? And then the content resides right somewhere around that area. So let me give you an example of what I mean. Right. First things first, I have a couple of images that I have already determined to be part of my template. Now, of course, you can have your own logos, your own images, whatever it could be. You simply just upload those images by, by following these steps. Over on the left-hand side, under Quick Insert, you click Image, and you can choose something from your library of images, or you can simply click Upload and hit the Browse button and go to your computer and browse the file. Now, I have the actual uh, logo area or the layout for an image that I've chosen from my template. This is that image. So let's move it into position simply by clicking on it and dragging it and putting it where we'd like it. And now uh, you can see pretty much how things are already going to get started here. So I've got a header that I really like. And so now let's put a content area in, uh, just below this. So let's just say that we put in a shape. Now that's how we always do our templates is we do it with shapes as well as images. So simply go over to the left hand side under the insert column, click shapes, rectangle. The rectangle hits the canvas. Now once it, it drops onto the canvas, you notice that the rectangle is, it has a line that goes all around it, which is a border, and you simply click onto the rectangle, go over to Styles, same thing like the background, right? So you go to Styles, then you choose a background color, and I always like to put white um, for my content area, but whatever. It's your site, you get to choose anything you want. So now let's, let's put that into position, let's scale it out to fit our site, 
and that looks pretty good right there just about there I'd say and then now you'll notice that we have a header a content area and in addition to that we also have uh, a few other things that we can add to this now I've added an additional image in here that I'd like to be part of my template right so let's go ahead and click image upload browse and I have a couple of images I have the fella sitting on the beach here so I kinda like that one so let's let's go ahead and pop that in and then I'm also gonna hit add another file and I'm gonna upload another one which is that more button and let's go ahead and upload that into the system now let's go ahead and move that into position so we'll put this fella right here and let's grab our little more button here let's drop some text onto the page maybe so we'll hit the text container so here's some text this text will go over on the left hand side and then now is a really good time for us to see where our content would go in relation to the template area so take a look at this we'll turn on the show content and you'll notice the content box is being obscured by the layer of uh, the image over on the top so I'll go ahead and let's click on to that scroll it down scale it and define where my left right content and footer is going to be right so here's the content area that I've just said now to the template okay all of my content for all of my pages will be in this area which is the hide content area right here right so all of our content will be right there now everything that is a template is on the outside notice the image over on the top which will pretty much be my header or logo area or whatever and then maybe a little navigation on the left hand side some text over on the left hand side and maybe a more button or whatever right so I'd like to put a little color on this left hand side to really define the bar so how do we do it with shapes so let's hide content again and then go into the rectangle and watch how simple pull down our rectangle scale it to the size that we'd like just like so and honestly building a template is really exactly this way it's the easiest thing in the world now I go over to the palette notice it's already highlighted and I change the color of the background so we could change it to, into anything that we want so let's choose a nice sandy color right to match match the overall layout right so let's choose something uh, really cool here yeah something like that I would guess and then you'll notice that the image in the background is being obscured by this shape so simply click on to the shape and I'm going to shift it backwards backwards and now the image is perfect right and let's move that image over and by the way I'm using the keyboard nudging by the way which is something that you can do as well simply click onto an image and use the arrow keys to move your your image around pixel by pixel perfect so now take a look at that we've got ourselves a, a template already pretty much built so let's go a step further now and how about we add uh, let's say that we add a, a really cool little footer on here as well right so let's go in and choose rectangle rectangle hits the page then we define what that footer is going to look like so let's choose something darker so we could really see it kind of stand out you know so let's choose like a really strong gray or something and uh, let's define it here and as you can see everything is super easy to do because you have freedom of movement throughout now the final trick that I'm going to teach you here on working with templates is that the way uh, Psychage templates really work is is that you have absolute freedom of movement throughout the entire site however over on the bottom right hand corner of the screen which is right here you'll notice that there's a little green box that gives you a line on the footer and on the right hand side now this defines the entire layout of the website itself it says that anything to the right of this arrow will be cut off and anything to the bottom of the arrow will be cut off as well so it basically says to the builder please cut the template exactly in this line right so everything within it now becomes part of the template so now let's take a look at our template so far and see what we have right so we'll show content now uh, let's move some of these a little bit around here 
so that it fits within the confines of this layout. Now, one other trick that I'll show you is, is that there are template pieces and there are separate pieces that are away from the template. Now you'll notice that the image over on the top is actually uh, an image that will be part of the template. So I'll show you a little trick here. Everything that's a template piece, something that will be integrated within the template, will have dashes around it. You'll notice the little orange dashes around everything, right? So take a look at this image here. Although, although the color is a little bit obscured, take a look at the dash that's around it. Right? Notice when I highlight around it, there's a dash. Right? So uh, that means that it will be part of the template. What I do want this to be, however, is a floating element. So you simply click onto the image, hit the little nodule, and say to foreground. Now, when that's done, what happens is when you highlight, now it's green. But everything else, like, like the text in, in this image, will be green. But notice this little more button. Notice it still has dashes around it, which means it's still part of the template. Now this is a more button that has to be created into a link, so it can't be part of the template. So I'll click onto that image, click onto the nodule, hit to foreground. Now when I highlight it, you'll notice it's green. Same with the text, same with this image. But everything else has dashes around it, which basically says, uh, Psychigit, I want you to make this a template. So we've just pretty much finished a template for beginners. So now let's put in some content, right? Let's say we put in a logo, say for instance. So we'll click text container and let's double click into the text and type in Surfside. Let's highlight Surfside and we'll make it bold. Let's give it some fancy cool stuff here. Let's make it nice and large so it can be seen and uh, well, maybe not bold, it might be too much. And uh, we made it Georgia. Now let's take a look at that, see what that looks like. And that looks pretty good. Um, now, let's see, maybe not Georgia. Let's try something more simple. Let's go Arial. Yeah, that looks, that looks better. There you go. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put like a slogan or something. So click text container. The text will hit the page and simply double click into the text container and say slogan goes here like so beautiful I like it now let's go ahead and put a, a little uh, tag here or, or uh, advertising uh, words here so let's just say have a wonderful vacation or something so click text container and we'll drag the text into place double click into the text and put in have a wonderful vacation just like so and let's make this bold italicize and make it Georgia uh, say 24 or so and change the color to white and that'll look pretty hot beautiful very nice. So, so far now, you see how simple it is. We've just basically built an entire layout. So let's put in a little footer information if you'd like, right? So say, for instance, you wanted to put in, I don't know, you know, copyright information or whatever on the bottom of the page, you know, your address. Right on the bottom. And then you can highlight the colors and make it any color that you'd like just like so. Put it into place. That's it. Now, the final piece of creating a template is to put in navigation. Navigation is a really simple thing to do and the way we do navigation allows you to create as many nav navigation modules as you'd like. So it's very simple. Over on the left hand side go to Gidgets, Navigation, then we'll select a horizontal menu going from left to right will never allow underlined links and we'll choose a text color of white say for instance we'll choose the horizontal separator as white as well which is the last one here then we'll choose a mouse over text color and mouse over background color so in other words when your cursor goes over the link what is it going to look like I'd like to see a white background with black text so mouse over text color will be black mouse over 
background color behind the text will be white. Now, once we hit continue, we then select the pages that we'd like to have as part of our navigation. So you hit add multiple links. You could do it singular, but it's better to do multiple. And then click the pages. Now any pages that you build will be here as well and any additional that you'd like to add. But for right now we'll just do these three and hit continue. Now let's customize the names of these pages. You'll notice it says index, which is your home page about us and contact us. So let's go ahead and change that a bit. Call it home page instead of index. About us. Let's capitalize all that. And the same would contact us. It's always good to be consistent. So we want to make sure that everything looks right. So now navigation has been placed onto the page. Here it is here. Now click onto the navigation if you'd like and make it bold. And you'll notice now when I move my cursor over, do you see the highlight colors there now with a white background and black text? And that looks pretty hot. Right? So now, if you needed any changes to this particular navigation, you simply double click onto the navigation. It opens up and you say edit links to where you'd be able to edit the links or you can edit the properties. In other words, changing the colors and those kinds of things and you simply hit finished and it applies it to the page. So you've just learned how to create a template. So now let's go ahead and create a new page and apply this template called template six onto the page, right? So first, let's go ahead and preview it now. Everything looks absolutely perfect. So now let's go ahead and uh, create this template. So hit start editing, then publish. Now, the whole idea behind publishing is to save all the work that you've done. So when you publish the page, you're basically sending that page to the server and saying, public, here's my page. So that's the reason why we publish. I will tell you though that try to always preview your pages before you publish just to make sure that everything is lined up and looks right and you know test it out just to make sure before you publish. There is an opportunity for you to revert back to your last saved page which is over on the top left hand corner called revert but it reverts it to the last published page. So that's why we make such a big deal about you publishing the pages. Make sure that when you hit publish you're saving it permanently, right? So now we've got our template done. Let's go ahead and apply a page to this template that we've just created, right? So simply go over to the top left-hand corner. We'll say new page. Watch how simple. We'll call this one, let's call it test page beginner. And let's put in our titles, descriptions as always, and then select the template, template six. Now you'll notice that you can choose multiple templates, but you know, uh, you, as we both know, this is template six. So let's go ahead and select that. And now our template has been applied to the new page that we've built. And now we can put in multiple images, text, etc. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's grab a couple of, uh, I don't know, let's grab some beach scenes, I guess this fella right here. and. And uh, let's see, how about a dolphin? Sure, insert files. And now those are placed onto the page. Let's go ahead and scale that back right here, just like that. And let's pop in some text, whatever. And so as you can see, building templates is not really a big deal. You can build your own custom template if you'd like. And of course, you can very easily go in and edit these templates at any time by simply going and clicking on template mode. But that's how you build a template.